Today at FullOnDrums.com, we're gonna ride the Batmobile. We're here at an undisclosed location in the San Fernando Valley at Scott's studio. And we're miking up his house kit known as the Batmobile. Hey Johnny, tell us about the kit. Today's kit is a Pro Reference Series 5-piece finished in beautiful piano black with custom red trim. The 22 by 18 mahogany kick features an Evans GMAT 1 batter head and Remo Ambassador Ebony resonant head. The 12-inch stand-mounted maple rack tom and 16 and 18-inch maple mahogany floor toms feature Remo clear emperor heads on top and Evans EC resos on the bottom. The symbols are all peisty, featuring 14-inch signature hats, 18-inch dark energy crash, 18-inch reflector crash, and a 22-inch dark energy ride. The snare is a Ludwig black magic with Remo Ambassador head. Our resident tuning guru, Kirk Buttercup, Burger has our kid all tuned up and ready to rock. Back to you, Charlie. Today, we're bringing the rock, so we're using a standard tight mic setup. Here at FullOnDrums.com, we always post the full band with multi-track files so you can download and check out what we do. You ready? Let's rock. Now it's time to bring the thunder. Pearl kick drums are known to crush mere mortals. And to capture that kind of power, we're using a Sennheiser 421 on the inside of the kick, about four inches from the batter head. The 421 is running through a 7602 with a slight boost at 3K and no compression. To capture some truly huge bottom end, we're using this 18 inch subwoofer. We just got this, and it's like the old NS10 woofer in front of the kick trick on 11, because that's how we roll here at FullOnDrums.com. The sub is going through a channel of the Millennia HB3D with no processing. You're definitely going to feel this one. On the top and bottom of the snare, we have Shure Unidyne 357s, which are the older American-made version of the 57. They are quite different from the current version and Scott's mic of choice on snares. You'll see it's about four inches above the snare. That's a little farther away than normal, but we're trading some isolation for a more open sound. Remember that the bottom mic will always be out of phase, so you need to flip it at the console. The top mic is running through a Chameleon Labs 7602 Mark II with an EQ setting of awesome and through one side of a DBX 162 also set to awesome. The bottom mic is running through a Millennia HB 3D with no other processing. On the hat, we have an AKG C452B. The pad is set to minus 10 and the bass roll off is all the way up at 150 hertz. It's going through the HB3D straight into our DAW. On the toms, we're using Audio-Technica ATM25s. For our rock recording today, the mics are positioned to get as much isolation as possible. Some bleed is inevitable and isn't necessarily bad, but we want to limit it as much as possible. Overheads are arguably one of the most important set of mics on the entire drum set, and there's many ways to approach them. Today, we're using a spaced pair of Audio-Technica 4050s, and we'll be using them to get an entire picture of the kit. They're going through two channels on the HB3D with absolutely no EQ and compression. Now, it's imperative we get these mics set up correctly to avoid any phase issues, and thus weakening our overall drum sound. Besides getting an overall picture of the kit, this is where a lot of our snare sound will come from as well. And to make sure our overheads are spaced correctly, I'm going to use a very complicated device called a cable. And I'm going to hold one end to the center of the snare drum and measure from the center of the snare to each of the microphones. Now you can move these mics around until you get the overall sound you're looking for, but just make sure they're equidistant from the snare drum. For room mics today, we have a pair of 452s arranged in an XY configuration in the center of the room about two-thirds of the way back. They're going through two channels of the HB3D and then into an overstayer stereo VCA compressor. Talk is cheap. It's time to put our money where our mouth is and see what she sounds like. Let's rock.
Thanks for tuning in, and remember to go to fullondrums.com and download the full bandwidth multi-track audio files of everything you just heard, and lots of other episodes, interviews, articles, news, and reviews from around the drumosphere. Next week, it's all about the overheads. <laughs>